Here Comes Hell is a black and white, under 80 minutes horror movie that was shot for £20,000. Now a lot of these are kind of warning signs. You're never really too sure what you're going to walk into when you get a movie like this. I'm glad to say that Here Comes Hell is a terrific movie for several different elements. First of all, it is kind of shot and designed like the old fashioned movies from the 30s. It's a 4x3 ratio, it has these kind of characters that embody the time. You have an American over uh, visiting, we have these upper class kind of toffs who have bought this mansion house. Uh, we're all going to go there, uh, there's going to be five characters who are all going to die horrible deaths at some point and while they're just having a laugh, living their life of luxury, they decide that just for giggles they're, they're going to hold a seance because, I mean, realistically, what could go wrong? Unfortunately for them, they open a, a gateway to hell, demons come forth and we go into a second half of a movie that is probably closest to, say, Brain Dead or Evil Dead 2 with its gore and over the top angles in action and that's where it really shines. And it's build up, it takes time to let us know the characters have a little poke of fun at those movies from the 30, has some good comedy mixed in, some fun moments, but like I said, this movie really starts to garner some steam, gets into its own when we get to the crazy action in the second half, where they take over with a lot of practical effects and they're all fun over the top moments, we get gallons of blood, we get terrific Dutch angles, we get to see gore, the likes that we haven't really seen before uh, in these kind of movies. The fact that it's in this black and white aesthetic means that it's a little bit off kilter, but to see people have their fingers bit off, to see an arm turn into a dinosaur and attack somebody, it, it looks better than it sounds. <laughs> it's one of the most crazy ends to a movie that I've seen. This is a short movie, 80 minutes, and for that last 40 minutes, it is just crazy. Now, it is low budget, but they do the best that they can with it, and it never really comes across as lacking much funds. They could really maybe have added more gore to it, but what they've got there is effectively great. The actors are all perfect embodiments of those atypical characters that you would get from a typical 30s movie. I'm thinking, kind of like uh, the old Dark House, it has that kind of feeling about it before it goes into Evil Dead 2 territory with all the blood, the guts, the gore and the over the top angles and the say, moving camera that swirls around. It's just really fun and playful, which is the best thing I can say about this movie. A lot of the camera style is in your face and over the top. It's not subtle filmmaking. It's there to disorientate, to be flashy, to make you have a sense of wonderment and fun while you're watching this. There is a great moment when they're standing looking at a body and it's going from person to person as they're looking down at the body. And the camera just starts here. They see a line, moves to the next person for a line, goes to that person for a line, back to here. But, and it's just this moving camera that is obvious. It's, it's not subtle. It's there that you can see. It's, it's quite apparent but it is fun to be part of. It makes you feel the high level of kinetic energy that's within this filmmaking. And it's so much fun. Here Comes Hell is definitely one of the ones at Fright Fest so far that I've just had a huge smile on my face watching. I love it. I think it's highly entertaining and it's one of those ones that you're going to hear a lot of people talking about. Here Comes Hell. <sighs> It's incredibly fun. I'm so jealous of all the people who get to watch it again for the first time. This is going to be a new favourite of mine, one that I'm going to rave about, talk about, especially that last 40 minutes. Oh, so much fun. I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man Versus Film.